So we're just a quick video on how to utilize the smooth mesh preview that is in Maya to get a quick high poly version of whatever you are modeling. So if we just put something like a cube in and just make it a little bit bigger so we could see better. What we can do in Maya is if we press the number three on the keyboard, it does a smooth mesh preview of whatever we've got selected. Now you can still see the cube sort of shape within this now new object in essence. Um, and what this does is it essentially looks at the edges and it sees the ones that are closest. So for this edge right here, this one is closest and this one, and it averages between them. So what it's doing, because all the gaps in a cube or this cube are equal, it's averaging between all of the edges and you've getting this sort of sphere look. And you can still see that cube, like we said. So obviously this isn't going to really work very well for us because I still want the cube shape, but just with a lot more rounded edges. So what we've got to do is something uh, or a, a workflow called placing holding edges in essence. So obviously there's the multi-cut tool if we want to put an edge loop in, which is sat here. It's in mesh tools or we can control shift X. And if we hold control, we could put that edge loop in. Now, if we do it on both sides of this edge here, we're essentially providing what's called a holding edge on either side. So now when it goes to round off this in smooth mesh preview, this edge suddenly has two edges that are a lot closer than previous. These were the original ones that were closest. It's now you going to use these two that are really close. And when we go back onto that smooth mesh preview with the three button, you can suddenly see that it's really changed how it's um, smoothing the mesh. And that's because it's averaging between them two holding edges that we've put there. And then the holding edge is averaging to the one that's furthest away. So all of a sudden we've got part of a sphere and then that nice chamfer on the, um, on the edge that we put the holding edges on. The edge loops. So of course you can use that multi-cut to very specifically give holding edges to certain aspects of your model. Obviously if it's something like a cube and you essentially want it all to be uh, beveled nicely and have holding edges, you can of course just bevel the whole object. So control B or edit mesh bevel. And if we bevel that, obviously it's quite a wide uh, fraction. We can hold control and left click and slide on the word fraction. We can give it a really tight bevel. So it's not got a lot of width to it. So maybe we put it to about there and we can add quite a few segments. Now this obviously is going to give it a chamfer and it's going to give it that nice smooth look. We've got 98 faces from that. If we use that smooth mesh preview anyway, we've kept the shape because of them holding edges from beveling and it's added a lot more and it's a lot crisper than just beveling. So just beveling, and then with the smoothish preview, it just rounds it off a lot more and gives it that cleaner look. A small feature that you can use with this smooth mesh preview is you can press the page up and page down buttons on your keyboard. And that gives you different layers of smoothness in essence. So if I do page up, it's going to add a lot more faces and it will keep going until it effectively crashes and you can go the other way so if i page down we can go all the way to basically no smooth mesh preview and then slowly add more smoothness to that now because it's a preview the geometry the topology of the actual shape is not going to change apart from the very first time when it does it and then it's not going to show all the cuts that are in there because it is a preview so you will come to a point where you decide, right, I'm happy with how this looks. So for example, this cube, I'm happy with the poly count because it's going to be the high poly for a bake. So it doesn't matter. And I'm happy with how refined it looks. So now I want this to be actual geometry that's got the cuts in there. It's got the faces and it's uh, not in preview mode. Really easy. All you have to do, make sure you're in smooth mesh preview, of course. Select your object and we can go to modify. We're going to convert. And we want to convert from smooth mesh preview to polygons, which in essence just basically puts them cuts in. And you'll see on the cube when I click that, we've suddenly got the topology now. So this is now actually smooth. It's not in smooth mesh preview anymore. It is the object itself and it's added all them cuts. So it's just a really quick way to get a high poly version of whatever you're doing or just to give it a lot more smoothness. So this is something that I prefer to utilize rather than just doing a mesh smooth on the object. 
just because you get that control with the page up and page down. So you, you're getting the flexibility to be able to see uh, what it's going to look like before you actually do the function. And you can obviously manipulate more to what you like. Um, it does run a lot easier when it's in the preview mode. So you can still work on the fly with it. So if I add the cube over here, um, it's a, bit, a little bit jarring. Um, to work whilst it's in smoothish preview but you can so if you just did a smooth you obviously couldn't i can put the um multi-cut tool on and put them holding edges in whilst it's actually in smooth mesh preview like i said it's a little bit jarring but it is something that you can get used to so i can actually live edit the uh the original cube and it updates the preview in real time to see uh how it's changed the shape of this so yeah this, this is just i think a lot more flexible way to uh, use a smooth function in Maya. So utilizing the smooth mesh preview with three, and then when you're happy, you can modify, modify, convert smooth mesh preview to polygons.